and venue eight dollars. So it's very similar to Zeno, but with doubles. So definitely, if you're a doubles fiend, yeah. go out to there. And Westchester's players are really, really good at the game. Quid is nasty. We got you already know that. Major winner, Quid, who actually I think won Fusion too uh, yesterday, oh. beating Zamba. So that's a good win. That's yeah. a very good win. Yeah. Quid and Zamba are really kind of the the new blood in terms of like the top players coming from New York, which is great to see. Um, you know, New York really hasn't had that sort of like super duper like top level player, like top 50 in the game outside of the buzz mm -hmm. since like Jen at the beginning of this game. Yeah. Um, I guess Frozen as well was actually technically top top 50. Um, but um, the 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 advent of like Quid and Zamba being as good as they are is really a, a huge deal, and it, it's awesome to see for New York cover. Whoa. Um, two very very solid players, and one that really has been as of late sort of dominating the New York scene uh, to an extent. That's Vivi. Vivi's been so good lately. Something really interesting. That header hit. Wow, Vivi had bounce up. So that was no ball right there. No. Purely just a header hit box. Uh, and I'm shocked Vivi made it back. Vivi being alive right now is a miracle with that. Spike and almost now evening it up is numbers. Okay, off the stage right now, uh, Vivi has been pretty okay. Oh, that Phantom hits huge. John is able to get that back onto the floor, and that's really big. Resetting to neutral against Hero um, is so so important. His advantage is so good, but his neutral at times can be not as oppressive. So, wow. Okay. Yeah, Vivi. Honestly, they can do a pretty soon game plan we saw against LRA start, which is staying in the center stage and trying to get your menus out and let them come to you. And that is exactly what Numbers did with that short hop. VP positioning himself beautifully to anti air. And nice. Uh, numbers recognizing the cross there instantly went for grab. Okay. Okay. And, and Vivi now is in a position where, to an extent, he can kind of chill on the side of the stage and wait for numbers to come to him. Uh, one thing that Weep Channel does absolutely not really have super great options of, especially without deep breathing, is um, approach options. So uh, Vivi can kind of just chill, and similar to what we saw in the LRA uh, start set, can kind of just wait for numbers to come to him with jump -ins. Looks like exactly what he's doing. Numbers had like a read off stage, but uh, Numbers himself has said we've hit the biggest weak, knock, weak, weak point is her hitboxes. Mm -hmm. So missed that edge guard, but managed to pick it up right there with that F tilt. 55% with deep breathing. You're going to need to get a hit right then. And wow. did not deep breathing now off the table. And BB, center stage, pressing menu. Usual stuff. And, and you see Vivi is kind of staying at, at, at ranges to catch John's jumps, or John dashes, right? Um, a lot of times not fully dashing in to hit John's shield, but just doing those jabs to sort of catch an approach. Um, and it's been working out really well for Vivi thus far. However, John getting a little bit of something sort of started just there. You gotta be able to even up the percent. Uh, super duper close game right now in this game number one. Oh! oh. That, that, that is a huge clank uh, for John. Absolutely would have died there. Um, and I really like that side B because, like you're saying, you were kind of playing this game. Like, are you going to dash in from center stage? And BB was just kind of pressing like jabs in a safe distance. But that side B was so good, and it led to that really great accelerado up air. What good aggression that like was not expected. Yeah, and it was a accelerado plus psych up. So John was not expecting Vivi to be able to get up there and not only do that, but to kill him in the same time um, was kind of crazy. And Vivi took full advantage there of uh, John just being caught by surprise. Yes, I was caught by surprise too. So definitely was going to catch John off. Um, yeah, I mean, you never really think of here's up air like, as a kill option. Psych up coming in clutch. And these menus, you're so, you're so good with baiting. Oh with my goodness. Too. Yeah, and, and even what's just good right there is that um, even though Vivi did not get the hit with the, with the neutral B, just forcing John back into that corner, not allowing him to really get any stage was really big. Um, wow, and getting underneath the Sun Salutation, Kaboom getting blocked by the soccer ball. A lot of projectile interactions thus far um, this set already. Um, however, Vivi looking in a great position. Oh, was about to have bounced out before that soccer ball hit him. Okay. 
great mash out. One thing interesting I noticed, whoa, that upbeat traded with like the grounding hitbox, so it hit uh, John, but BB still got grounded. Yeah, it's interesting. That means that when the hitbox starts for um, Hero's upbeat, he's technically grounded. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, if you do it on the ground. Ooh. One thing interesting I noticed earlier was VB was um, VB was on the ledge and instantly rolled in behind John. I feel like uh, he that's something that John definitely can catch on because VB is so reliant. Look right there, mm -hmm. rolled in again. VB is so reliant on being center stage that every time is John running at him when he's on the ledge, he's rolling behind him. I think John might catch on to that soon. Yeah, and one thing that John is oh my gosh, <laughs> one thing that John is is so so good at is um is really adapting game two. Um, really knows how to change his play style well. Did not recognize what that was for sure when it hit his block. And John jumped and died. Yeah, and that is, is classic kaboom. Yeah, that's like so rough because it's like, either like you sit in shield and read the menu and then are totally like stayed yeah. stiff and try have to react faster than the hero who's actively reading it. So like th that's the crazy thing about specifically about hero. It's like, okay, John just dashed back. He is looking what's happening with hero, but he also has to like like be aware of his positioning. Has to dash in. Doesn't know what's coming out. You assume like sizzle, right? Because like you saw that animation. It's probably like, oh, it's sizzle. I shielded it. I'm good now. And gets caught by Kaboom as soon as he jumps afterwards. Well, I love that aggressive uh, side B right there. Start off from BB. I feel like um, he used a couple and they worked like almost every time. So I think potentially could be seeing that more once he gets a bigger read on oh, the win. Okay. Numbers is going to be like Sun Citation or Deep Reading or Dead. Oh, could have very well been that they got sour spotted by the down air. Um, and right now, BB's in an excellent position, has that full charge. Um, ooh, but nice scale attack. But again, Numbers really does have those mix-ups. Like, he, Numbers has... Like, we've had so much defensive mix from ledge. Oh my god. That was, Here was very a, bizarre. Here a rattle moment. Yeah, but um, Numbers does, like, have, has so much like defensive mix from ledge that when he does like a normal option, like a neutral get... Oh, he died. Um, when he does like a normal option, like a neutral get-up or get-up attack, you're kind of like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, ended up, Vivi ended up catching a, a drift out with um, the Sun Salutation, and it's going to be number stock. Uh, and that's really big, because Vivi with a big lead, not someone you want to play Ooh. against. And I think that that, uh, that neutral is definitely like a product of it being game two and such, because I feel like he spent all of game one being sent to stage and observing like what numbers is doing, wind landing, and everything, knowing that this is a very common spot to Sun Salutation. So I was really able to confidently uh, press that neutral B there by game two and finally land it. A beautiful catch on the dash back. Okay. Drifting out once again. Uh, bounce again really big. This doesn't allow uh, John to get away with any projectile um, usage. Uh, especially on the stage. Off stage, a lot of time John will still throw it out just to um, force Vivi you know, to move around it. But... Okay, that is going to be enough, John. Not down by too much of a margin. This is exactly. BB just has been in like his favorite spot almost the entire game. Of, in the middle, right here. Are we going to see the roll in again? Ooh, not able to because numbers grab before anything can happen. Yeah, and that nair super big. And that's kind of what I was mentioning in the deal set before is that. Um, really, like Weaver Trainer, if Weaver Trainer is going to approach, um, Weaver Trainer wants to be above you, right? Because that shield poke is super big um, for Weaver Trainer. Kind of a huge part of that game's, uh, of this character's like neutral. Jesus, Vivi. <laughs> I, re I really like the idea, honestly. Yeah. Because um, you're, you're baiting grab, right? You're going to run up and grab. But, like, no. Oh! oh. Caught it! Um, and that does you really good, right? Because you figure, well, Maybe has to at least like land on like likely land on platform. Not great DI there. John almost died. Oh, and you are gonna die there. Accelerado will just cover so much space. And that's so rough for John because he finally had momentum yeah. for the first time this whole set. Oh wow. Just to lose it, but maybe he can get it back right here. 48% lead. Nice. And John has really done an excellent job of avoiding Vivi's grabs. Has not gotten grabbed a whole lot. knowing the positions that Vivi is going to utilize it. 
to get up roll. Oh, you in. died? Holy moly, you died at 76%. And that is a very good up smash. Invincible, very strong tipper. Chilling hero at 76. Is that even deep breathing? That's just yes. The, that's just the yes, sun, no, that's just the sun salutation charge, isn't it? Was it? Maybe so. It has like a pinkish aura around him. I don't know if that's sun salutation or... I'm pretty sure that's just sun salutation. I see. Yeah, so that's the thing. And and you mentioned oh whoops. You mentioned that um it's invincible. Um and that's super huge. Not only is it invincible, if her box shifts down, Hero's Nair um hits below ledge. And you'll see that here. Right? The spacing here is for it to hit below ledge. Actually it was not. Ended up missing out. But the hurt box spacing is super good right there by Vivi. Um and it is going to allow uh, or by John rather, and is gonna allow John to take that game number um is gonna allow John to take that game number two. Um, John has struggled with Vivi to an extent, so taking that game number two is super, pretty big, but um, needs to be able to preserve that in this game number uh, three. Looks like and he already is. he's at a good start. Yeah, um, it's like, I feel like what Numbers kind of is realizing is if Vivi can't do his game plan, he starts to crumble a bit. He starts to like kind of press these panic options. So I think Numbers is trying to be on the ledge way less now. And try and take the center stage away from Vivi rather than trying to play like the slow chip game from ledge. Okay, quick sun salutation right back to the stage for John. Again, has no issue resetting neutral right now in the position that he's in. Allow Vivi to burn that mana. Um, and John, uh, unlike Vivi in this matchup, I don't think really has to maintain center stage all that much, um, especially with the lead. Uh, Hero's approach options, especially without Celerala, are pretty limited. Um, so Jungle just kind of chill, wait, and react. Oh, big. Oh. Huge jab. Vivi was not pre-mashing there, because normally against Sweet Chinner, you pre-mash as soon as you get jab. But because he got poked in the very last hit, wasn't pre-mashing, and John was able to get an F kill. And one thing we're seeing game three, John is throwing out way more sun salutations. Yeah. I think it's telling Vivi, like, you can't be in this space, like, for free. Like, even though I'm on the ledge, you're in the center of the stage, I can still attack you. And now Vivi has to be way more like cautious when um, he's doing his game plan. He can't just like have that super comfortable freedom. Wow! Beautiful air dodge. Great timing on that air dodge by John. That air dodge just get caught by that move all the time. Yeah, it's it's really easy like once you hear the sound effect of it to just mash air dodge because it's terrifying to have that giant kaboom come after you. But you actually gotta wait a second, otherwise it'll catch the end of your air dodge. The numbers did that perfectly. Hey. Stock back to stage. Vivi still having a little bit of trouble here getting the stock, and John is taking full advantage by getting a full 46%. Wow, great um, little uh, bait right there by John with the dash in. Yeah, and, and that is that is John going for the read of Vivi going back to stage. You saw John scouting for the roll down smash oh. really big, almost gonna take the stock. Oh, Ooh, wow. not getting the spike hit box. Oh, oh no, and no mana. mana. Vivi not in a good position right now. And John has some time to heal as well. Both players have been grabs. Okay. And now I feel like it's one of the few times in the set where like the passage of time is in John's favor. Like Vivi's the one that has to do something about this. And that's uh has not been working out so far. John really good once you have to come to him. Okay, this is a start for Vivi though, and Accelerado is really big to start the game. You absolutely want to have that when you're making a comeback. Kaboom, that's really big, already at 72%, and has Accelerado once again, and bounce on deck. Accelerado plus bounce is a deadly combination against zoners. Okay. Down throw, fair. Ooh, Ooh Accelerado so ran out. Yeah. Okay, psych up is big, but that up, uh, up tilt hitting the block, so not going to end up uh, being a factor. Heal. Oh, oh, I, I thought Kamikaze I got selected. The same thing. I, I, saw, I was watching the menu and I, I heard the A button get clicked. My hero pressed Kamikaze right there. <laughs> oh, can't be super desperate like that. You can actually kill with a decent amount of things at 126. Yeah, especially when you have that psych up. Um, really, almost anything will kill here. Um, like outside of hero jab, like Ooh. almost anything. But numbers playing so good, knowing he's trying to force a hit. And this is now, VV was starting to bring it back. All that momentum gone away because VV was trying okay. to force a hit a bit too much. Now, with, with, that's the thing with Hero. You never really know. Okay, still uh, invincible there. Wow, and a great up recovered by VV. Going a little bit wide. 
Okay, now has to get this ledge trap. This is a good start. Oh, okay. Mistiming the fair there. Yeah, and if I hit shield, there's nothing BB can do about no. it, I'm pretty sure. So, not really much risk in turning out four numbers. Oh, up. No, gosh! Oh, one out oh of, my word. One out of eight times, we <laughs> won this set. <laughs> All right, well, time to see if, if that... um. Change is kind of one that ends up costing Vivi that uh that the, the RNG roll not going in his favor there. Oh, oh wow! My gosh. John... Okay. Am I crazy? Did John just run yeah, straight through exactly him? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought too. Looked like he just ran right past him. Uh, I don't don't really understand how. I I uh I uh. Okay. So there's a jab. That was normal. It's a jab. What the, this? The, mm. Can we? Can we actually? Let's let's go back on that jab. Can we get a pause at the end of? Because it looks like heroes thrusted like towards the, the viewer, like in the, the Z, Z axis. axis. Yeah. That's look, what look, I... look at him. He's in the Z axis. He's he's not. Uh... He left that axis at the end of the jab. That is really funny. That's <laughs> so hilarious. Oh my God. Yeah. He he went he went. Into the Z. Z. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. Z axis, folks. We're, 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 we're Brawl DDD. Shout outs to those that know what I mean. I do not. <laughs> uh, Devin, but, Devin knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. But regardless, <laughs> um, some Z axis shenanigans. I don't know if it made too much of a difference, but it, it threw me off. Um, yeah. And actually, I mean, it did let Numbers get to the spot where he um, then could dash in and punish BB's landing to close up the game, so.